What is up guys and welcome back to the Evo X motor build. This will be episode three where we are installing the cylinder head. We're also gonna be doing ARP head studs. And if I have enough time in this episode, I will be doing all the timing components as well. If I run out of time, if it's like over 15, 20 minutes, I'm gonna throw all of the timing components in another episode, so in episode four. Feel free to check out the previous two episodes. Episode one, where we went through and checked all bearing clearances, set, set the uh, ring end gap, checked the piston to cylinder wall clearance, which was all very time consuming. And then episode two, where we actually built the short block. So I'll have those linked down in the description box below. Feel free to go check those out, guys. All right, let's get started on this cylinder head install. I gotta get that motor. I gotta get that block up on a engine stand because it's getting a little too heavy for that table. So let's get that thing moved real quick. The first thing we are going to be doing is installing these ARP head studs. So let me go ahead and pull these out of the package. ARP gives us the torque specs, <clears throat> also with the torque sequence. So the first thing we're going to do, they say just to thread all these in by hand. So go ahead and thread these guys in. It is now time to clean up the block, the gasket service on the block. So I'm gonna grab some brake cleaner and a lint-free rag and clean that thing up. So it's now time to get the head gasket on the motor and get the head installed, but we need to put some sealant on the edges here. So we're gonna be using the three bond sealant. Uh, I use the three bond 1215 here. And so you put a little bit here, then you're gonna put a little bit on the head gasket on the same area too. So you need some on the bottom and the top layer of the head gasket. You can now slide the head gasket on. It only goes on one way, so you don't have to worry about uh, putting it on wrong. Try not to touch the gasket surface or the ceiling surface of the gasket. Just like so. Now we need to put a little bit of sealant on the top of the head gasket like I mentioned earlier. We can now get the head ready to install. With using the ARP head studs, you need to get the washers on the head on these two studs here. So we're gonna actually insert the washers onto the head before we install the head onto the car. So go ahead, clean up the gasket surface of the head and get those two washers installed on the head for these two studs here. Make sure everything gets seated properly. No, no unnecessary gaps anywhere. And we can go ahead and get the rest of the washers on now. Make sure you're using this ARP fastener lube again, like we did with the main bolt. It just helps ensure to get a proper torque spec.
now we are ready to install the nuts onto the threads. Just gonna put them on hand tight for now, guys. <clears throat> Make sure you're using the uh, lube. Get a little bit on the threads. It's a half, half an inch uh, standard socket. I'll choose that and the extension to thread these guys in. So the torque specs on here, you do 30, 60, 90 foot-pounds and there's a sequence so you start with this one number one two three four five six seven eight nine and then ten so you start with the inside and you kind of just work your way out pretty simple to do only problem I'm seeing is the three-eighths won't fit down that hole obviously for the for the timing side so I'm I don't know how this is gonna hold up to 90 foot pounds. I guess we will see. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and start with the 30 foot pounds and then work my way up to 90. There's no way a quarter is going to hold up to 90 foot pounds, so I'm actually going to try to grind the socket down uh, to get it to fit down this hole. I have a feeling that's how you're supposed to do it. So I'm going to go grind on the socket. And to get to these two front nuts with the half inch socket, you actually have to grind it down like so. A uh, regular socket will not fit down the hole and obviously a quarter inch is not going to be strong enough. So take a 3 8 uh, half inch socket and grind her down and shove it. And all these have to be 12 point. They're all 12 points, so you got to use a 12 point socket. Time to move on to 60 foot pounds now. Now we move to 90 and that is the final step. I'll be putting a little bit of assembly lube on all of the cam uh, buckets, or the valve buckets. So the 16 buckets and then in all of the cam journals, as well as on the cams themselves. So I'm just putting a little dab on each one. The machine shop already put some on, but a little more can help hurt. And insert the cam, insert the cam onto the hood. And I'm gonna take a bit of assembly loop and put it on the top of the cams where the cam caps are gonna sit. You just want everything lubed up for when you first fire her up, she's not running dry at all. These cam caps. They have to go on the same exact, in the same location that they came off. So make sure you get that on properly. And for this front cap, make sure you have that exhaust spring in there, guys. Or the, not the cam bearing for the exhaust cam. You gotta have it in there. Okay, now there's the torque sequence on these also. So you start with this one here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
and then same on this, and then we torque this at the end. And these all go to eight, eight inch pounds, which is nothing. Make sure you're tightening these even, evenly because you're putting, you're, we're actually putting pressure down on the valve springs right now and opening the valves. So there's going to be some pressure on these bolts, guys. So on the front bearing cap, there's a sequence that we tighten it. First we go one, two, three, four, and that goes the 14 foot pounds, and then we go one, two, three, four, so backwards to a final torque of 22 foot pounds. So let's hit that 14 foot pounds real quick. And I'm gonna convert that to inch pounds because my torque wrench, the big one does not go to 14. So 14. That is 168 inch pounds. I'm just gonna stug it up a tiny bit first. Make sure it seats evenly. Now we're gonna go to 22 foot pounds, which is 264 inch pounds. And in this, we're gonna go opposite, so one, two, three, four. Okay guys, I am now going to check the torque on the cam sprocket bolts just to make sure that the machine shop didn't torque them in properly. The torque spec on the cam sprocket bolts is 63 foot pounds. And you hold the cams with a crescent wrench right here on this hex part. Cams are good to go. Now the only thing left with this top end build is the valve cover and we have to wait till we get the timing cover on to get the valve cover on. So I'm going to create another uh, episode for all the timing components and I'll just th throw the valve cover in at the end of that. So if you want to know the torque specs just check out the next episode which will be episode 4 which is doing all of the timing components.